Good morning. And the FAA says they aren't going to rush this process to get the MAX back in the air. We know this. It's been grounded for 18 months. But the flight that's happening today is a key point in moving forward. Whatever timeline that the MAX is on, the FAA is saying it might be okayed for commercial use of November of this year. So today's flight is a big deal. Now today, the FAA administrator, Steve Dixon, will do a test flight of the 737 MAX over Seattle to see how it handles. That is scheduled after a press conference today at 1130 this morning. Now this test, it comes shortly after a House committee has released new legislation from the investigation into Boeing and the two 737 MAX crashes, which concluded there was fault by both Boeing and the FAA. It's titled the Aircraft Certification Reform and Accountability Act. Safety has to be the primary role for the FAA, and that was you know, one of the big concerns that we found in our investigative report that Boeing and FAA were too close and uh, that 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 needs to be um, they need to be separated. Now, one thing that legislation is going to look at is how human pilots interact with an increasing amount of automation within uh, plane systems that they're seeing not only in the max, but just planes across the board here. And then that flight, like I said, it's going to be the director of the FAA is going to take that flight. Uh, we'll have full coverage, including a live report starting today with King 5 News at noon. Live in Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5.